Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back again in comic books. And it's like when I got done with Captain Marvel talking about how to improve that character, DC comes along and says, hold my beer. <laughs> and I've, I've been worried about this for a while because I knew that the moment SJWs figured out what the multiverse was, I knew it would take them time. It's like the Borg with transphasic torpedoes in Star Trek. It will take them time to figure out how to beat the transphasic torpedoes. But once they do, they'll nullify it. With SJWs, once they figure out what the multiverse is, which is a little bit above their thinking, but when they figure out that, oh, it, it just basically means infinite possibilities and there's infinite different types of characters out there in different forms. They are pro they're going to go to the most soyish area of the multiverse and start pulling characters out of it. And this is no different. What you're looking at is the next three of the characters coming out in the new DC run. It's supposed to be like a Teen Justice League or something. And you have the smug SJW looking crab. But what's interesting here is the center character. And that is Kid Flash right here of this universe. <sighs> if it looks like a black dude with lipstick, yeah, you'd be right. That's probably what it's going to be. Let me, let me just read on down here to the excerpt. So anyway, an eight, the eight-page story by Ivan Cohen, Wonder Woman, Agent of Peace, and Eleanor Carlini, Buffy Hellmount, will focus on the Teen Justice team from Earth-11. The story will also serve as the debut of the brand new Future State Flash, Jesse Chambers. Chambers, who goes by the name Kid Quick, and is gender fluid non binary will become the Flash in the upcoming Future State Justice League series. And that's it. They don't talk anything else about the character. This is the selling point. Kid Quick is gender fluid and non binary. And that's why you should buy our book, bigot. Because this is a non because this is a non gender Probably going to be black from looking at the, the skin color. They're going to make them some sort of uh, brown minority, a person of color at the same time. Because we've checked all the all the boxes, yeah. And we've got all of the good... We've got the gender fluid black man wearing the lipstick because he's just the greatest ever. I'm, I hate doing that accent, honestly. I may not ever do that again. But anyway, what you have here is the same problem you have with Marvel that now is now permeating most of the major comic book companies in the industry. We cannot make this character interesting. We have to go in there and make it about being gender or make it about sex or make it about race. And that's the only thing pushing this character right here. Is we're, we're, we're putting this character into a box and that's what SJWs do. They put characters into boxes and then they determine which character is valuable and which character should get a run based on that box that they're in. Oh, we're going to make new characters. Why? Because Batman and Superman are straight white men. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a dumbass reason to make new characters. But that's what we're that's where we're at right now. There's nothing I mean, if you're going to do this, you should at least tell about the character's story, about their about their bio, about who they are. They they don't tell who they are. They tell what they identify as, because that's what's supposed to sell the character. And I got news for people that doesn't sell characters very well. Okay, that's why we're in this whole comic book crash in the first place. That's why COVID had such a debilitating effect. If DC and Marvel had been making good characters with good stories and had artists and writers worth their salt at times, instead of firing Ethan Van Skyver, one of the few of them that actually has talent, you would have a much better, COVID would not have been such a problem because DC would have said, okay, yeah, we're going to do a lockdown for a couple of days, but we've got money saved up. We're going to provide extra cash for everybody. Um, you're all going to be fine. As soon as the week is over, don't forget us because we're going to come back with more stuff. That's what should have happened. Hell, Comicsgate didn't even stop producing books. They were still they were still shipping. They were still sending books to customers. They're like, "Yep, we're not we're not going to stop. We're going to send out books regardless." Fuck COVID. COVID. What the hell is that thing? We don't even know. Lockdown. Yeah, th th this machine doesn't stop. That it doesn't stop at all. 
but this is, like I said, this is the reasoning behind SJWs, okay? You have Spider-Man. What, what, what do you know about Spider-Man? He's a kid. He's a kid who deals with problems. He balances life and being a superhero. That's who he is. And like I said in the last, like I said in the last one, Spider-Man actually ends up being more relatable than Superman because Spider-Man deals with a lot more real-world problems than Superman does. And it's because he deals with a lot of the more mundane problems, figuring out where he's going to get his rent, dealing with the problems that comes with his wife. Hell, they had an entire hell. Uh, it ended up his superpower ended up killing his own his unborn child at one point. And that is something a superhero that has a mutation, like Spider-Man, who has radioactive uh, spider venom, which altered his DNA. That's something he has to worry about, is if it's going to hurt his child. Um, there was all there was one about the Hulk, where it was you know the Hulk's gamma ra- Hulk was tricked into believing his gamma radiation had killed his wife, and then he found out later that no, someone had done that trying to break uh, Banner. It was an attack by one of his villains. That is something you really have to worry about. When is the last time you heard about a Marvel character fearing their secret identity being found out by Doctor Doom? None of them do. The new the new characters don't. Oh, we're maskless and we're running out there. Everybody can know our identity and all this nonsense. I mean, right now, the only person who has any real common fucking sense is Batman at the moment. And even then, after the Tom King run, Batman has, he's, he's just kind of frolicking around with Catwoman at the moment which is dumb. But I mean, like I said, other than, this is all SJWs have to run on, is sexuality. That's it. Or or, or what you identify as, or what your race is. And Marv, and DC is going to, and DC, I, I make this prediction right now, DC is going to be far worse at this than Marvel. They are going to take the cringe to 11 because DC dabbles in their multiverse a lot more than Marvel does. They dabble in that bullcrap a lot more. They had the most success with it, so they mess with it more. And here's the thing about the multiverse, and this is going to be the excuse of every SJW that gets in there. Well, it's the multiverse. There's a gay Superman somewhere out there. He's probably black. Better yet, he's probably a gay, black, trans Superman. Yeah, that's that's what you're dealing with right now. That's where you're heading. You're going to get gay, black, trans Superman. Just. And and here's the thing. They're, they're gonna, there's so much stuff DC has done in the past because they're much older. There's a lot more, lee, there's a lot more, not leeway, but a lot more excuses for these idiots to screw up their own product. The only hope that we really have is that DC, that AT&T goes in there and just starts wrecking DC, takes all, cuts out all the cancerous SJWs after this run. If this run fails, our only hope is that they go in there, cut out all the cancerous groups, and then maybe, maybe they would hire people. But unfortunately, right now, this is a big problem for DC, and they probably know this. The people that are up at the top, the corporate guys, are probably looking at this, seeing all... They're, they're, no doubt, they're seeing Comicsgate. They've seen Comicsgate in the Twitter run. They've had time to look at it, but none of them have come out and said anything about it. They're probably looking at Comicsgate right now and thinking, I wonder what it would take to get these guys. It's going to be like self-publishing on Amazon with... Uh, what is it? Uh, novels? When people would do short stories and novels on Amazon, they made so much damn bank. There's one chick, she made a series. She wrote out a series, made so much bank off of it that there were publishing companies. They went and interviewed publishing companies and asked them, do you know who this woman is? And they said, yes, we know who this woman is. We don't try to court her. And they're like, why? They said, because we cannot beat the deal she's got. She keeps a vast majority of her money and she has very little production costs. They said, Unless she comes to us and asks us, they come, they literally, they gave up on getting, on courting her to get money out of her for her series because they could not give her a better deal than what she had with Amazon publishing. Okay. Amazon, if you can get the stuff out there, you can do it properly. You can pretty much publish it for almost next to nothing as an ebook. That's what's happening right now. DC and Marvel are at a point where they probably couldn't even court anyone. 
right now. Their higher ups are looking at this like, damn, Comics Gate's out here making so much fucking bank, and we cannot get these people in here because what are we going to offer them? We already pay our people minimum wa- below minimum wage. We already can't keep the people on here. We don't have the talent. And these people, they hate us now because we allowed these morons, these psychos on Twitter, to screw up our entire product. I mean, mainstream comics is in a position where it's going to be a long effing time before they finally get the buildup to go anywhere. If they're lucky they may be able to court someone from Comicsgate over there to do Superman if they really, really want to do Superman. But that's about it. They, they've they ended up screwing this industry out and mainly because they did not want to invest. They didn't want to do the investment. They went cheap. And this is the thing I would tell people right now. If you're going to do Comicsgate, don't go cheap. Okay? Don't get cheap art. Don't do cheap shit. Line your crap out on your books and make sure that they are done properly. Make sure they are done well. Make sure your story is good and concisive. Make sure your crap is on par because you are not competing. This is not Marvel or DC you're, fight- you're competing against right now. You're competing against Ethan Van Skyver and Richard C. Myers. That's the standard right now for me. I've got to whoop those guys. I got to take down Pell Creepy and and the guys that did Common America and and My Hero Macademia. Okay, I I've got to be better than Don Delay. I've got to be better than John Malin in terms of story writing as a writer. I'm gonna have to have a character that's more interesting than that. And as far as beating and as far as artwork goes and character design, I'm gonna have as far as artwork goes. I'm gonna have to. I'm competing against Ethan Van Skyver's amazing artwork. And as far as, you know, in t- visual visual design of a character, I've got to beat Robbie Rodriguez's Red Ninja Memoji, which most of y'all should check that out. I haven't bought that yet, but I've got to buy it and, and, and check it out. But anyway, folks, tell me what you think in the comments. And as I said before, you if you're gonna do the if you're gonna do independent comics, my suggestion after seeing everything out there, don't don't try to compare yourself to DC or Marvel. They're low bar right now. Look at look at Myers. Look at Malin. Look at Ethan Van Skyver. Look at uh, Don Delay. Look at all these guys that are going out there right now, and they are pushing. They're making amazing bank. These are the guys that you're competing with. They are the standard right now. You have to get your everything on your book to that level. If you can go further than that, that that is where you need to go. You got to be like a PC gamer versus a console gamer. When the new console comes out, that's the PC gamer's baseline. And then they build a computer, they build a gaming system more powerful than that. That's how. That's your mentality. You have to go further. You have to get more and you have to go further. Anyway, folks, as I said, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, as always, it's the Last Raider saying stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.